Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and like and comment. Today I'm giving you my steampunk bride and I hope you guys enjoyed this look because I had tons of fun making it. First I take my photo primer and focus under my eyes and cheeks because I really want to give this area a boost. I follow up with NYX Shine Killer because I do have oily skin and I found out this product does help fight that a lot for me. Next I'm just going to fill in my brows with a very dark brown pencil. I'm not really trying to carve them out, I just want to make sure that they're perfect for this look. And then I'm just going to take a lighter shade concealer just to line them up just to make them look oh so perfect for you guys. And then I do that for the top and the bottom and then I just sweep that up and blend it and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and smooth it all out. Now I'm just going with my NYX eyeshadow base in white because I just want to make sure these colors really pop and because this is going for a dark look and I do have dark skin, I just want to make sure that like I said, the colors pop for this look. Now I'm going in with the NYX Ultimate Palette and I'm going in with that orange color and I'm going to do this to highlight my crease and just to carve that out. I don't want to go too dark with the orange, I just want to make sure there's just enough color there to where you can just tell if there's just a little accent. Now I'm hitting the edge of my eye, the corner, and I'm just going in with that cranberry color from that same palette from NYX, and I'm just focusing on the outer corner. I'm not going to sweep it to the middle or nothing like that, just focus on that part. And like I'm just going to keep playing with it, blending it, just to get it the right color that I want, because I want it to be a little dramatic, and I just want to make sure it's dark enough. Same palette, now I'm just going in with the inner corners of my eye and meeting to the middle with a gold. And this gold I am loving because it's subtle, it's not overtaking, it's just perfect to complement the cranberry. Next, I'm just going to blend in some of that cranberry. I didn't add any more product to the brush. I just want to take away some of that harshness of the gold when I met the cranberry just to make it blend in a little better. Now I'm going with the NYX Liquid Black Liner. This one is my ultimate favorite. As you can see in some of my past videos, this will always be a go-to liner because it goes on so smooth and it gets everything I want just so grand. And now I'm just taking the NYX Single Shadow in Midnight, and this is just to accent the liner a little bit. I'm not going to go really deep with this because I just wanted to be an accent color to the liner. After I've gone in with my favorite foundation, I'm now going in with the NYX HD Concealer and this one's a nutmeg and this is what I'm going to use to highlight my face, getting under my eye, my nose, my forehead a little bit, and my chin. Time to blend and beat that face until I can't no more. It's a tiring process, but you gotta do it. Next, I'm just gonna take the same brush that I used to buff my foundation with and hit the harsh lines of where I used to highlight my face just to make a more smooth transition. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going with a NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. And this one's shade is in medium dark. I am not baking, I am just going to blend it as I put it on my face. I'm just going to clean it up with another setting powder just to make sure I'm getting this blended well and to make it more natural. Now I'm going in with the NYX blush Intuition. This is more of a subtle shade but it gives a very good color. Because this is a dark look I want to go in with a gold highlight because gold does go with really dramatic looks and I'm just going to focus on my cheeks, my nose, and above my lip. Next I'm going with the NYX Long Pencil Eye and this is in just black and I'm just going to hit my waterline and I'm going to do that for both eyes. I'm not going to go too dark with it, just right. I can take any lash glue and I'm just going to do this to set my gears that I got from my local hobby store and this is the best way I found to stick them on my face and it actually lasts for a long time doing it this way. I'm not going to clutter my face, I'm just going to get it to go down the side of my temple and just focusing on keeping in that select area of my forehead. Moving on, I'm just going to go down my cheek like you're going to do a contour. That's pretty much where I'm going to set the gears to go. go back in with that NYX long pencil eye in black. I'm just going to use this to line my lips because I like if this is a dramatic look so a black liner will really take that dramaticness up another notch. And I know dramaticness is not a word but I, it, sound, it sounded so much fun at the time. take NYX matte lipstick and this one's in gold digger and I'm just going to go over that black liner and I'm just going to make it feel so pretty and vampy but then I'm going to clean that liner up a little bit just to make it a little bit more polish. Next we're going with NYX violet ray just to brighten up that dark lip a little bit because we want a dramatic but we still want to look happy. some beauty supply lashes and just a simple mascara to finish off the look and of course where would this look be without the NYX matte finishing spray this is my ultimate favorite I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. And if you like it, please subscribe, like, and comment. Have a great day, my loves.